Holy moly, are we loaded. I don't mean me personally. We are loaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded. And yet I'm going to start with something that may seem a little obscure. But I want to discuss this with you because it it demonstrates how our bureaucracy works, how Joe Biden lies, and the media go along with it. That's what I want to do. And we'll see if I can get to it in time to do it. But before we get to that, this is from the Washington Free Beacon. This is part of it, but there's more to discuss. You've seen this big brouhaha because Benjamin Netanyahu put out this video that's 45 seconds long, and he basically said in a very, very polite, almost passive way, he said, look, thank you for everything you're doing, Mr. Biden and Mr. Blinken, but we have arms and ammunition in the pipeline that we can't seem to get as we're trying to finish off Hamas, and we're about to go to war with Hezbollah. What's that all about? You told us you would look into it, and we just want to make sure we get it. So they went to their favorite propagandist, who's actually an Israeli that stabs his own government in the back, Barak Ravin, at Axios, which is a left-wing site. And they go to their favorite brothers and sisters at Politico and the Washington Post, and then it takes off all over the place, and Netanyahu comes under attack. Netanyahu said today, look, I'll take all the personal attacks as long as we can get what we need and defend our country. And what did he do that was so offensive? Well, he revealed that the Biden administration is slow walking uh, uh, ammunition and weapons. Now, they're not slow walking it to Iran. All kinds of billions of dollars have gone to Iran and they're busy buying weapons and manufacturing weapons and they're And I blink away from having nuclear weapons, and we have funded all this. You and me. And in fact, Biden funded October 7th. That's right. And I'll say it forever. But here's a piece from Adam Credo over at the Free Beacon. The Biden administration stopped fast-tracking weapons to Israel in early January after a pressure campaign from Democrat lawmakers who oppose American support for Israel's war to eradicate Hamas. A Republican senator said today, federal law allows the president to forego formal congressional notifications on arms sales when emergencies exist. The Biden administration invoked this power last year as it worked to quickly provide Israel with the arms it needed to combat Hamas. But the administration stopped acknowledging the emergency in Israel after receiving a letter from nearly 20 congressional Democrats in January urging it to end expedited weapon sales to Israel, said Senator Tom Cotton. This man's a great patriot, Tom Cotton. He wrote in a Thursday letter pressing the White House to explain the delay in arms shipment to Israel. Now, the big issue here is how Biden and Blinken know the bureaucracy, the bureaucracy works with them, know how to use the bureaucracy. And after Netanyahu released that really harmless video to tell the whole world what was going on, they trashed him. They said, we don't know what he's talking about. We, we don't know what he's talking about. We're not stopping anything. They're lying to us. Cotton wrote, your administration is engaged in bureaucratic sleight of hand to withhold this crucial aid to Israel during a shooting war. According to the letter that he wrote, You're playing politics with the nation's honor and our allies' security. Worse still, your administration lacks the honesty to communicate its true policy to the American people. That's what's key. Instead, preferring to hide behind weasel words and bureaucratic process. The letter comes just days after Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu publicly accused Biden of withholding U.S. weapons and ammunition that the state, the Jewish state, is relying on to eradicate Hamas in the Gaza Strip and combat a growing threat from Hezbollah on its northern border. The White House denied the accounts, saying it doesn't know what Netanyahu is talking about, but said it had delayed shipments of 2,000-pound and 500-pound bombs. Cotton, a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, says the administration is being dishonest about the delay, that it has not sent an assortment of promised weapons, prolonging Israel's war and endangering its soldiers 
at a time when both Hamas and Hezbollah continue to rearm, regroup, and coordinate attacks on Israeli civilians. Can you imagine this? Now, the enemy knows this is going on. The Democrats know. The Defense Department knows. The federal military contractors know. Everybody knows, but you and me. But now we do, thanks to Tom Cotton. What I want to get into after the break is this bureaucratic morass that you have to go through to get arms to a friendly ally. But the way that you cut through it is the President of the United States calls it an emergency and they cut through all the red tape and they get the the ammunition and the weaponry to where it needs to go. Well, Biden put his foot on the brake. And so when they say, we don't know what he's talking about, they know exactly what he's talking about. The Arms Expert Control Act requires the administration to notify Congress before sending weapons to a foreign country, Cotton said. Your administration has manipulated this requirement by withholding this formal notification to Congress of approved weapons sales, including F-16, F-15s, rather, tactical vehicles, 120-millimeter mortars, 120-millimeter tank rounds, joint direct attack munitions, and small diameter bombs. Your administration can then claim that the weapons are in process while you never deliver them. You got that? But they can't get them to Ukraine fast enough. This bureaucratic delay tactic has allowed the Biden administration to deny accusations of withholding arms to Israel, while also placating the far left flank of the Democrat Party that is pressing the president to punish Israel based on false charges of genocide, according to Cotton. Now, this is why they have a guy like Barack Ravin. This guy's an Israeli. He used to or still does write for Israeli papers, but he's hired by Axios. In the Biden regime, Blinken in particular, Sullivan and the others, they go directly to him. Because he will transcribe what they say and he will run with it. He hates Netanyahu and he hates the government in Israel. He's a horrendous backstabbing mouthpiece for the Biden administration, in my humble opinion. And so he puts out this story in Axios under breaking or scoop. And then all the other media run with it. But, of course, he doesn't explain what's actually taking place, the truth. The truth of what's taking place. After Netanyahu's accusations this week, the United States reportedly released one ship carrying an arms supply. But Cotton said this modest step doesn't cure the damage done by the delay. He said any delays to military support to Israel blatantly disregard Congress's bipartisan mandate to supply Israel with all it needs to defeat Hamas terrorists and other Iranian-backed groups. Our ally is under sustained threat, and we must use all available resources to expedite military aid. The senator is asking the White House to come clean about the status of U.S. arms shipments to Israel and to detail what has been paused in recent months amid a pressure campaign from anti-Israel activists and Democratic lawmakers in Congress. This is Biden listening to Bernie Sanders, Talib, AOC, Omar, the Hamas wing of the Democrat Party. He's choking off Israel while he provided over $100 billion to Iran and while Qatar and other countries are pouring money into Hamas and Hezbollah. And they trash and attack Netanyahu. They try and set him up like, well, I don't know what he's talking about. And then like it's a dirty trick or it's a dirty play. So we're going to postpone our meeting over what? Over the Iran nuclear progress. What? This is the same propaganda operation that Donald Trump has to deal with. That Sam Alito has to deal with. That Clarence Thomas has to deal with. That the Speaker of the House has to deal with. It's the same thing. Cotton asked the White House to explain by July 1 what weapons and ammunition are being withheld from Israel, including any weapons or ammunition delayed more than two weeks beyond their original delivery date. This is to include a detailed list of all foreign military and direct commercial arms sales requested by Israel and the current status of each request. 
Khan also wants to know about any weapons or ammunition Israel's request to be expedited, the status of each request, and an explanation for the status. The senator says that if Congress must intervene to fast track any outstanding weapons, it will do so. White House envoy Amos Hochstein, Hochstein reportedly chastised Netanyahu earlier this week for going public about the arms situation, saying the Israeli leader's comments were unproductive and, more importantly, completely untrue, according to CNN. Well, that's CNN, propaganda operation for the government. It's untrue. Well, then give Tom Cotton the information he's requesting, and we'll see if it's untrue. It's not untrue. The Israelis know what's been ordered, and they know if they've gotten it or not. And this is Joe Biden buckling to the Islamists in his party. As he's buckled to the Islamists in, Islamists in his party in the streets. Now I've told you this man is an anti-Semite. I've told you this man, his administration is filled with anti-Semites. Just like Franklin Roosevelt and his administration. They talk a good game. They fool a lot of Jews. But they are what they are. But I want you, all Americans, to know that it's Biden and Blinken and Pierre, whatever, and all the rest of them who are lying to you, the American people, and you can expect more of it during the debate. They are lying to you. They are slow walking this stuff if they ever deliver it at all. We don't know what he's talking about. They know everything that's being done. It's like the letter from the 51 spooks, that is, Former intel types. The Biden campaign drafted the letter, got the signatures, handed it to the media. It comes up in the second debate. He denies it, says it's Russian disinformation, points to the letter, points to the fact that over 50 former intelligence and national security officials, including four or five former CIA directors, he said, of both parties said it's Russian disinformation. When they planted it, and they knew it wasn't Russian disinformation, they're doing the same thing to Netanyahu and the state of Israel and the people of Israel. Same damn thing. And this Tom Cotton, he really is a prince. He's a gem. He's on that committee. He knows exactly what's going on. 